We find ourselves in the second decade of last century. There is a spirit of optimism after the First World War. For the first time, Germany is a democratic state, and the word democracy is on everyone's lips. But even the experts cannot agree on what exactly it means. Hans Kelsen, a liberal constitutional lawyer, gains attention and observes provocatively that nobody is born with the right to rule others. Yet, we still need government. At the heart of liberal democracy, he suggests, is a willingness to compromise. For him, there is no single absolute truth. We need parties in order to negotiate compromises and thus to reconcile the interests of majorities and minorities. Only a few constitutional lawyers see it that way. His criticism comes from all sides. Hermann Heller rejects Kelsen's theory. As a keen defender of the Weimar Republic, Heller assigns importance to democracy's underlying values. For Rudolf Schmend, the issue is not one of majorities and minorities, but of a homogenous nation without differences of opinion. Carl Schmidt believes that free elections, political parties and even parliament are not needed at all. He thinks that strict homogeneity is the best model for democracy. In sharp contrast to this is Kelsen's theory. He is concerned with protecting the freedom of the individual, even against the state. In this, Hans Kelsen comes very close to our current understanding of a liberal democracy. Today, people are also debating different opinions on an open and pluralistic society. What can we do to meet the challenges arising today? The last word has not yet been spoken on how people can best live together in a democracy.